Hi, this is Soft Cell Video Production, and I'm your host, John. This is episode number 150. It's a kickoff to a 12-part series of how to wire your own home. I really hate reading off scripts, so I have some notes here, and I'm just going to ad-lib it. You're watching episode number 150. Now, in episode 151, we go over what you need to do before a pad is poured. In 152, we play catch up because I forgot to mention about post tension cables and I also forgot to mention about usable wall space and if a window goes all the way down to the floor, it's still usable wall space. You gotta have an outlet there. Episode number 153 is Framing and Trades Checklist. This is a very important video to watch because it's going to keep you from getting taken advantage of by an inexperienced owner builder or a pushy general contractor. It wants to get you in there before the house is ready and it's just a cluster whatever you know. It just tells you what needs to be done before you begin your work. 154 through 157 is four kinds of layout. The first one is basic outlet layouts. Where you put them, where you don't, where they're necessary, where they're not necessary. We then step up to bathroom and laundry room code, which like the kitchen is a code unto itself and needs to be addressed by its own video. Then move on to the next video, which is 156, which is kitchen code, which is actually quite complicated. I tried to make it as simple as possible, but you know how it is. Just a lot of stuff going on, and we only have so much video time. We then move over to overhead electrical code, and a lot of this has to do with smoke detectors, where they're located, uh, closet lights, how they can be a fire hazard, and where you want to put three-way and four-way switches, stuff like that. Basic stuff that the average person really knows nothing about. 158 is boxing the house. It doesn't show you so much how to box the house, but the right box to use and where to use it, all right? As far as you're concerned, I'm assuming that you know how to mount a box. And here's something in case I missed it. You cannot nail anything overhead. Anything overhead has to use screws. You can nail anything on a wall, a vertical wall, but as far as a horizontal overhead, gotta use screws. It's the only thing that passes. 159 is drilling do's and don'ts. Mostly don'ts because you can drill a lot of places and you can make up with it with nail plates. But it tells you what not to drill because there's some places that if you drill you're in serious bad trouble. We finally come to make up and trim out. Now this is a weird video because in not one place in the video do I show you how to make up anything. And the reason for that is because of YouTube Terms of Service. I'm not allowed to duplicate material, but I can make reference to it. So what I did was I made reference to every single makeup you're going to encounter when you wire your house. So you watch that and you hand select each video that you're going to need as you go along and wire your house. 161 is probably the simplest video that there is in the whole 12 part series. And what that shows is what's going to fail you. What's going to keep that inspector from giving you a certificate of occupancy? Very, very few things. But I list those things so that it goes through a nice clean transition. I want this to be a good experience for you. So take your time. Pause. Take notes. Do whatever it takes. 
This is for you. This is a freebie. You have 11 episodes beyond this to really get your act together. So, I just want you to enjoy yourself. Know that I put a lot of work into this. I did it for you. I really hope you enjoy watching this. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.